I want to, to thank to all organizers of this important event for, for culture and traditions in Mexico. Uh, well, podríamos poner la presentación? Well, I prepared a, a presentation for you. Thank you for coming. Uh, the title of this presentation is Voices from the Room, the Art and Culture of Women in Songolica Mountains. Uh, I want to start to talk about the text of tradition in this region. Uh, uh, Why is it important to talk about text of tradition in Mexico? In Mexican indigenous, in Mexican indigenous communities, textile art express different elements. One is the cosmovision, history, values, ideals, and beauty customs of the people that make them. So when we see a textile, we are, uh, we are seeing different elements of the cosmovision up and about the nature. Uh, indigenous textile express different social elements, such as gender, uh, ethnicity, origin, marriage stat status, and social status. Uh, it was done by women in Mexico, uh, women that have been ignored by most academics in art studies, art history, as well as Mexican society in general. Uh, this situation is relacionated with, uh, with different topics about uh, the class. Uh, this job is made by poor people, it's made by women, and it's made by indigenous poor women. So in Mexico, this situation is so hard for, we for women because he has to face the regateo. It, it, one common question is, or one expression is, it's so expensive. You know, why is so expensive if this job is made by a poor woman, woman? So I don't understand why it has to be expensive. It has need to be cheap because it was made by a, a person that maybe has not a value. People in Mexico think that indigenous women those, don't, doesn't have the same value that the rest of the people. So for us have been really have been really important uh, to communicate the importance of the of of the art, but at the same time the social context of the the women, because if we don't understand the stories, the places, and and all the job that exists behind the production, will sorry we cannot understand. Uh, all uh, this, the meaning, the significant of significant of this tradition. Well, so for weavers, there is a triple discrimination, uh, and the work is done by, by by indigenous poor women. So it's necessary to to communicate to to people why it's important this job. Uh, well, uh, the first question is where is Songolica Mountains? Well, the Songolica Mountains are, are a cultural and natural region uh, in the state of Veracruz, in the middle of Veracruz. Uh, it has one of the highest altitudes in the country. Um, in the dominant language here is Nahuatl. Nahuatl is uh, the most common indigenous language in Mexico and in this region uh, the dominant language is Nahuatl too. Well, I prepared a map and here you can see uh, the region. You can see the Gulf of Mexico and uh, the, the most important villages in this region are Atlahuilco, Tequila, it has a name uh, like Tequila in, in Jalisco, and the other place with an important tradition is Tlaquilpa. Uh, you can see uh, 
Sonbolica Mountain, his next arm, his next to Puebla, and uh, all this region is one of the highest regions in all Mexico. Uh, in this uh, zone, uh, well, the, the Pico de Orizaba is is localizado is is there in this region. That's it. Well, uh, in this uh, song, uh, textual tradition has an important meaning or important significance. Uh, women uh, in the in Sombolica told us that to Nancy, the Guadalupe Virgin, it was the the creator of this tradition. Uh, they consider that weaving is a gift from the pre-Hispanic godness, goddess, sorry. And if you can look uh, the all the the codices, the pre-Hispanic books, you can see that there were different goddess of women. Uh, Tonancin, uh, Ixchel, um, different uh, goddess uh, are the creator of the textile tradition in, in Mesoamerica, in Mexico. And in this region, Tonantzin, or the Virgin of Guadalupe, is the, the mother of women. So, uh, in this region, uh, textile tradition has a sacred... Sacred? Is correct? Sacred. Uh, sagrado. Sacred. Uh, uh, significant. Well, and it's interesting to understand uh, what's the relationship between textual tradition and nature. Uh, there is a relationship uh, between uh, traditional textile art and resources, natural resources. The forest offer dyes, offer fibers, and other materials that are used in this production. At the same time, uh, all the designs made, made are inspired by nature. For example, uh, this is a belt, and women told us that this belt is a representation of a snake. And you can see different uh, figure, figures, and all these represent the serpent's skin, for example. And in the next one, uh, we can, in all the pre-Hispanic societies, uh, natural resources were important. And, and in all the textile tradition, there are some animals with a special significance. Serpents are a really special animals in this song. In the pre-Hispanic society, serpent was considered a sacred animal. So it was represented in all art expressions, sculpture, pottery, painting, and textiles, of course. Snakes are associated with fertility, femininity, humidity, corn, crop, and pregnancy. Uh, we can see uh, a representation and, and pottery from the middle of Veracruz, and we can see a woman using a belt that, that is a representation of the snake, and at the same time she is using a skirt, and in the head she has many there many representations about serpents too, and, and animals relacionated with uh, with the earth, with the el suelo. And in and here we can see a, a belt of serpents. Serpents is really important in this region. And in textiles, serpents are represented, represented in the traditional belts. According to women testimonies, belts are represent that take care of the uterus, pregnancy, and the women life. So uh, we can see uh, an other uh, sculpture with a belt of snakes. Well, and we are uh, seeing uh, 
the, the name of this tissue is, uh, is eye tissue, the hido de ojito, little eye. And we can see how weavers represent the skin of serpents in this, in this textile. When you ask to, to weavers what's the name of this uh, tissue, they told you it's a little eye, but at the same time they can tell you it's a serpent textile. So it's really important a uh, serpent in uh, these representations. And uh, corn is really important, it's a fundamental cultivo uh, uh, crop for, for indigenous uh, societies. And we can see how the colors from corn is represented in this textiles tradition. And for me, it has been really important uh, to understand why people use red and blue. And there are an amazing uh, significant, it's really, it, there is a relationship between uh, the blood, sangre, blood uh, and water. No, and, and if you visit Songolica wow. in mom in important uh, festivities, religiosas, religious festivities, uh, you can see to all the people uh, wearing uh, textiles with these colors, red and blue. Even you can see to the saints in the church uh, wearing colors like this. Well, uh, for our project has been really important to communicate that this job is made by women. And, as, and women with a specific situation of poverty and violence in these regions. El machismo is, a, is so common in Mexico, so uh, for men, it's not a good idea that women can work uh, in textiles because they can get money. And it's not possible that a woman get more money than a man. In this moment, textile tradition uh, contributes to incomes for families and for uh, com all the different uh, communities. So textile tradition has an importance in economy in culture and in many different uh, uh, aspects. Uh, well, uh, here we can see how the textile tradition is sharing from the mothers to uh, sons, no, daughters, daughters. Uh, the power? Well, and in today, textile tradition is made by old women. Young people is not interested in women. It's considered a job that, that perpetuates poverty. Uh, it's common uh, to hear to old women telling to their daughters, uh, don't weave in. Because if you weave in, you are going to be a poor woman. So it's better if you go to school and it's okay but, I, but I, we think that it's necessary to go to school and at the same time continue with textual tradition. Unfortunately, a lot of women people consider that there is a relationship between traditions and poverty. So they prefer put and stop to traditions, to language, indigenous languages, and many different activities uh, uh, about the, the tradition and the, the history, you know? Well, for us have been really important document, document all this process and at the same time to share with people outside. We want to, to tell to, to people uh, around the world that this textual tradition is in risk, that it's important, that there are an important mean, significant and that we need to support the textile tradition in all Mexico. I consider that different strategies like this, Feria, are necessary to sharing 
and to communicate to people that there is a relationship in Mexico between gender, between social class, between ethnic et ethnicity and poverty. So it's necessary to support to all these uh, women in these regions and for 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 this reason we create a short film about textile tradition in the Nahuatl sorry in the Nahuatl language <laughs> and it's going to be a project in some minutes. Well, we consider that it's necessary uh, to support indigenous tradition too because there is a relationship between environment and sustainable development and textile tradition. Uh, as you can see, uh, all the, the fibers come from uh, the natural uh, environment, the landscapes, the, the, the regions. So we consider that it could be a good alternative to a production that is made in fabric, fabricants, fabrics? Yes, factories, yes. Thank you. <laughs> and well, we consider that that could be a good strategy for culture, for for economy, and at the same time, it's a way to continue our the the traditional knowledges in these regions. So uh, we'll project this short film. It's uh, the title is Tlakimiloli Voices from the Loom, and I hope that you enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thank you. Gracias.